Hi, Carly Clan fam. So the other day I did a video about why in the world we have two houses. And I thought that today it would be fun to talk to the kids and see what they think about the two houses. So I think I kind of know what the kids are going to say, but um, I have some questions for them and I'm not sure how they're going to answer them. So first we're going to start with Rosie and I kind of know how Rosie feels, but um, which house do you like better? Do you like the Omaha house, the Nebraska or the Texas house? Uh, this house? You, you said that in a question form so <laughs> so do you or I mean do you not like one more than the other or how do you feel about that well I feel like they both have their pros and cons okay but I feel like this one's better okay even though it's smaller I feel like it's better so why do you feel like it's better well um in the other house I feel like we have to rely on a lot more than, okay. on, than here because there we have to rely on, um, like, we, do, we can hang up our clothes here yeah. and not there. And we can have guineas, and we can have all the animals we want here, which will give us food that we don't have to buy from the store. Okay. And, yeah. So we can have a more self-reliant life here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you like that better? Yeah. Plus, we can have a huge garden. We could have a huge garden. And anyway, we're planning on having a huge garden, actually. Yeah. Um, at some point, we bought a bunch of seeds, mm -hmm. and we just need to pick our area. And we, we can't plant um, yet because if we're going back to our Nebraska house, we won't be here to water, um, and then we won't be here to harvest either. So, but we are planning on doing that. Um, I We got a bunch of seeds. I want to get a, a bunch more seeds, actually, but um, mm -hmm. I think that will be fun. Yes. I'm excited. So, what do you think about um, if we had to get rid of a house? Um, I would say the other house. Get rid of the other house, the, uh -huh. the Nebraska house? Yeah, I mean, I've, this one has 10 acres on it, which you can get a lot more money from that. But, but I feel like we should keep this house because it has 10 acres on it. Yeah? You can do more with it, mm -hmm. with the land. Yeah, and there's like a pen. What about friends? Do you have any feelings about friends? Oh. I mean, I'm sure you'll miss them. Yeah, I will. And we don't know yet what we're doing. Um, I'm just... I have my friend's phone numbers and their uh, address. Yeah. So if I want to mail letters, I can. So Rosie is our only child with a phone. Uh -huh. um, we've had one other child with a phone and they lost that privilege. Okay. And um, we are thinking about getting a couple other children phones, but um, we will have to see about that. So Rosie can talk to her friends on the phone mm -hmm. or FaceTime or yeah. whatever you guys do these days. <laughs> we, we won't mostly FaceTime. FaceTime? Yeah. Yeah. We don't really call each other ever. <laughs> that's, that's not a thing anymore. Using the telephone to talk isn't a thing anymore. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Really? Yeah, it's so weird to me. <laughs> All right, Elena, you're next. So we are talking about the Nebraska house versus the Texas house. And why don't you tell everybody what you think? Like, do you like one be better than the other? Yeah, definitely Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah, I miss my friends. Like, I have, like, I, hold on, let me count. I have four friends that I miss the most, and, like, They've been my friends for a very long time. Well, three, three of them have been my friends for such a long time, which I feel like building a bond is like so hard because you have to move states all. Yeah. But also the the reason why I like here better is because the me. So, us girls and boys, we didn't talk to each other. We were like 
pretty distant from each other. But now that we're in Texas, um, like I share a room with four other girls. So like we talk all the time. We like gossip about like literally <laughs> nothing. We like, oh, did I remember this once when blah, 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 said blah, blah, blah. That was hilarious. <laughs> so you do miss your friends, but you think that this house creates a better um fam like family dynamic yes okay and what else anything else uh yes we have way more space to do something because we have like 10 acres um and the 10 acres is probably going to be like chickens sheep cattle because we have so much room we could even do just an acre of whatever we wanted yep that's true um anything else about here that you like um, you've been learning a lot of things yes I learned how to knit and crochet. Well, not yet crochet, but knit. I made about like five scarves and I'm working on a hat, but I had to restart like a hundred times. <laughs> That's good though. That's how you learn. It'll get better and better and better. And we figured out some stuff we needed and mom needs to buy it. Yep. We're going to buy some knitting stuff and some crocheting stuff. Crocheting hooks. Yep. We need them bad. Now we have a bunch of this stuff in our Nebraska house already. Um, but we don't have it here, so mm -hmm. we'll just have to run to Walmart and get some stuff. Plus they're packed. Yeah, a lot of stuff is packed. So, okay, so you like this house better. So if we had to pick one house, what would you pick? This one. The Texas one. house? Yep, because I made one new friend here. Yep. So at least I'll have a friend. Like. Yep. Even though we live in the country, we, we have neighbors that aren't too far away, and uh, we've met them already, and they've come over and hung out, and um, so that was nice. Any last thoughts, like anything else about this house or Nebraska that you can think of um, when you like when you think of the houses? Oh yes. Now, I'm, of course, there's going to be flaws and stuff. This house is flaw, like a pretty big one. Like it's like 98 in the mornings and then like 100 <laughs> in the, the afternoon, and I'm like, oh, mom, I'm going to go outside. Never mind. Yeah, it does get so hot here, um, but. Sean and I were just talking about the weather and how in May when we left, so it was mid-May when we um, had left to go back to Nebraska, and it was like um, just starting to get into the 90s, and it wasn't like that every day. So I'm going to guess maybe June, July, and August for sure are like that here. And then I'm questioning if maybe September starts to um dip a little bit on some days so we will see how september goes because we will be here through the end of september this time yes. so we'll see how that goes but i i would bet then october gets a lot nicer i love um these like cold things yeah i love being here because all year round it's nice mm -hmm. um it is but then it, oh, back in omaha like it's not it would probably be october and it would be snowing Sometimes we do get snow in October, yeah. It's weird, like, it's not even December. I know, I know. Usually, um, we'll get, we could get some really cold falls, but it's usually, like, 30s and 40s all the way, like, October, November, December, and then, like, once January 1st hits in Omaha, like, all of a sudden it just snows, and it's, like, negative. Especially because all my favorite clothes are, like, summer clothes. Yeah. I only have, like, a... You could wear them all the time. <laughs> okay, so Jade's here and she's next, and she wants she wants to know what this meeting is about. <laughs> That's actually what she said to me. So we are talking about the like the pros and the cons between the two houses. Okay. And um, I'm curious what you think. Which which house do you like better? Texas. The Texas house. Yes. Okay. Why do you like the Texas house better? Because here I'm learning the Texan at Texan accent <laughs> yeah you actually did look it up didn't you mm -hmm. yeah she did um and what else and what is it about this house that you like so i love animals love yeah. love love yeah. i if i had to pick being around humans or animals i'd pick animals yeah uh i love the cattle every day i go out to pet henry if you guys don't know who henry is i named the bull <laughs> he's the friendliest like and then 13 is the other one Number 13. Mm -hmm, in the white one? Yeah. But she got a little mad, frustrated with me, so I left her alone. Yeah, I would leave her alone. You never know with animals. I know, but it looks like she was getting a little frustrated, so yeah. I, I just left her alone for two days. So you love the animals, mm -hmm. and we can have animals here, lots of them. Yep. Uh, right now, we bought guineas. Yeah, we have the guineas, mm -hmm. uh, chickens and ducks. Yep, and then the cat, cattle, and then the dogs. Yep. 
and we're talking about um, if we were to be here full time, we would get like goats, goats bunnies. Yeah, meat Rosie chickens. really wants a bunny. Yeah, she does. Yeah, that's a favorite get animal. Meat chickens are something that we'd like to do. Yep, mm -hmm. a dairy cow. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Dad really fun. wants to get a beef cow, but I'm like, no, we're not killing cows. Yeah, I know. Yep. Sean would like to have some beef cows. I, it, to me, it's just so sad. It is sad. It is. I think it's a good idea because that just helps with self-sufficiency. Yeah. Um, but it is sad. It is. Because you bond with them and I then know. you name them. Well, you name them. I know. <laughs> I know, I name them. So I it came, is hard. I came up to mom and said, okay, I have an idea. We're naming the boy. That's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I came up to her. Uh, With when, some names. Mm -hmm, and then Henry, Ryan. Ryan sounded way better in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, um, so what about friends? Would you miss your friends in, in Nebraska? Yes, but I can still contact some of them. Mm -hmm. That's true. You can. They have phones or, yeah. yeah. You and guys then eat, Gmail. Gmail, yep. You guys can talk on Gmail. Yeah. That's true. Um, okay, so are there any cons to the houses? Uh, it's very hot. And then rattlesnakes. But, oh, and then the cats is another pro. I, I, oh, you like the cats? Yeah. Yeah. We have cats running around. Mm -hmm. um, and we are talking about getting our own barn cats. Mm -hmm. So that way we, we I have think those cats are feral. Do you, do you? Yeah, because online it said if they've never ever been socialized with humans, they're all feral. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we'll just have to get our own barn cats. Yeah. Um, and it is really hot there. Elena and I were just talking about that. It's, it's so, so hot, hot here. and humid. Yeah, and very humid. Now, I'll tell you, I know people don't realize this, but um, in Nebraska, it gets extremely hot and humid. We have had multiple days in back in Omaha where it's been over a hundred this summer. I know. And, um, and we had some last summer, but we've had a lot this summer. Yeah. Um, it gets extremely, extremely humid. Uh, I do not know why. Like here, I understand like we're near the ocean yeah. and like we're right on the Gulf of Mexico and I get why it would be humid here. Why in the world it's so humid in the middle of the United States? I have no idea, um, but it is extremely humid in it is. in Nebraska. And it's horrible. Yeah, it it is. And sometimes there's heat warnings. Yeah, there are. There a lot of times there's heat warnings there, and so we come here to Texas where it is hot and humid, uh, but it is definitely Wonderful. not something that we're not used to because it gets like that in um, Omaha too. Yeah. Not usually every single day. Like here, it's every single day for months. Yeah. Um, it is not like that in Omaha. But then on the flip side in Omaha, in January, February, it gets down into the negatives. Like last winter, it was uh, negative 30 with the wind chill. Oh, yeah, and then we had a snowball fight with the respite kids. Oh, that was not that cold when we did that. True. But it was cold. It was cold outside. Yeah. But we yes, had, we did that. We had a nice snowball fight. Mom did not want us to, but we did. You did. Um, but they had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Are you going to miss the snow? I am. Really? Yeah. yeah I won't miss the snow. But you oh, will. If it, when it gets too cold, I'm like, no, we need to go back to Texas. <laughs> I think that we will obviously visit mm -hmm. um, family because all of our family's there. Yeah. So we would probably visit during like Christmas time, and yeah. and so we can get a little bit of snow during that, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Any other thoughts? Last thoughts on the two houses? Oh, uh, I feel like the dogs love it better here because uh, at the other house we don't have a fence; we have to tie them up on tie outs. Yes, that is true. And um, we, we really didn't want to put up a fence at first because um, we have a horse trail and we didn't want to block that. So then we talked about doing like an iron fence. Um, it's just so expensive and everything is so expensive right now. And, uh, and then, then we didn't know we thought we were going to sell and so then we didn't put it up. And so it is fenced here and they do love to just run and run and run. Yeah, and then if they get out, it worries us so much. Yeah. Because some it, the other bad thing about here is those the gates. Oh yeah. So the it's hard to make sure we have so many gates. It's hard to make sure they're always all shut. Yeah. So sometimes they do get out. And then uh, Charlie. Charlie. She, she knows how to open them. But she doesn't know how oh, to shut them. Oh yeah. So yes, that becomes a problem. Um, but the dogs, I do think, really love it here. They do, especially the puppies. Yeah. We shouldn't really be calling them, calling them puppies. I anymore. know they're over. Well, they are still puppies, True. even if they're a year old. Yeah, but they're getting so old. 
They are. Okay. And then cons about Nebraska. <laughs> Again. Okay, what? I uh, want two more cons. Okay. Um, there's, for me, um, like, we you can't really explore. We don't really go anywhere. Yeah. But here we go tons of places. Well, you go lots of places in our neighborhood. Yeah. Like down to the park or I mean, um, on our trail. or But it's not, exploring is not the same in mm -hmm. Omaha at all. I know. Here, it's like actually exploring. Yeah, and it's yeah. fun. Yeah, there's lots of all different kinds of things to explore mm -hmm. here. And here, you can actually pet the cows. <laughs> you can pet the cows. Mm -hmm, yeah. But but at Nebraska, if you see pow, cows, you cannot pet them. <laughs> yeah, right? Don't pet those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Lily is next, and um, we are talking about the Nebraska house versus the Texas house. Okay. And what everybody thinks about it. So which house do you like better? I like Texas a little bit more than Nebraska. Texas a little bit more. Okay, how come? It's because um, I like Texas because I think I sleep better and I like checking. I like the, all the animals and I like exploring and um, th there are cows here and I like going to pet them. Um, what's that bull's name? Henry. Yeah, we named one of the bulls Henry. There's a bull. Yep, Hen Jade, Jade came up with the name Henry. Henry is the <laughs> only boy. Yeah, he, well, I think some of the, like, baby calves are boys. Yeah. Um, but he is the only, like, big cow out there that's a boy. Yeah, they have one bull. Yeah, and Henry's the friendliest. He is friendly, yep. Um, okay, so you really mm -hmm. like Texas. Is there anything you'd miss about our Nebraska house? Um, I miss my friends. Miss your friends. Yep, you have quite a few friends. We have, actually, Lily has a friend that lives right across the street from our house. And then there's a girl named Daphne that I know. She She's my friend, and I know where her house is. Yep, and she's not too far. I have a friend named Lainey. Yeah. No, so we do know. have friends close, so you'd miss them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what else? I know you'd miss family, our family. Yeah, but I have messenger kids, so I can call them. <laughs> actually, so we downloaded, okay, um, Messenger Kids, and uh, we downloaded it at first because um, the kid's birth cousin had that, their cousins had that, and they wanted to be able to talk. And so we downloaded that so the kids could talk. Well, then we added like uh, several of the grandmas and yeah. um, and then I, some of their friends are on it. I have one friend. Um, I have some of my siblings, Elena, Jade. <laughs> um, I can make a group chat with Declan, but it will never work. Same with Jade's computer. But you talk to Sissy. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, so the kids are able to stay in contact with family and friends and through their messenger kids, which is kind of fun. Yeah. And you guys, sometimes they'll literally sit in the same room together and get on their computers and video chat with each other, <laughs> um, which is just so funny to me. But they have a blast doing that. Um, and they think it's so funny, they'll send funny pictures to each other and stuff like that. Okay, so anything else about the Omaha house or Texas um, house that you might miss I, or that you like or don't like? Or? I like that there's no fire ants there. <laughs> yeah, there's no fire ants. Or in, jellyfish. Or jellyfish, that is true. That is true, but there's no ocean there either. No. Do you like the ocean? I do, but I don't like the jellyfish in it. Yeah, the jellyfish are icky, aren't they? Mm -hmm. It hurts to get stung. Yeah. Um, Actually, we have um, some footage of Rosie right after she got back from the ocean one time, and she got stung. Oh, and she was all red. <laughs> so Dad took you guys to the Rockport Beach again, and Mom stayed home and cleaned. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. But what happened to you? A jellyfish stung me. A jellyfish stung you. Let's see your arm now. You said it was a lot redder. Turn it, flip it. Yeah, yeah so there. back here, it's still red. This is where it got it the most. Yeah, I see that. Tell them what it's happened. pretty, yeah. It looks, you said it looks a lot better now than it did. Yeah, my whole arm was red from up here, like this little bump, to yep. all the way down to my Dad. wrist. So what happened? So you, you guys weren't there very long. Yeah, so I was swimming, and then I just stopped, and I was moving, like up to my waist. 
So the water was up to your waist. Waist and like go up But you were like bending way. down, is that? Yeah, I was on my knees and I was just doing this, waiting for the waves to come so I can jump into them. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just felt something all of a sudden grab me with multiple tentacles and then it, there was this really bad sharp pain in it and then I shoot it away as fast as I could and then it really hurt. I was screaming a lot. You were? Yeah. We are talking about Nebraska versus Texas and what your thoughts are. So on the two houses, what do you think? I like this house better or worse? It has its benefits. Okay, so what are they? You know, we always uh, get to do whatever. We can also go in each other's rooms. Yeah. Because, you know, there's so many rooms and all the kids, like, running around into all of their... Yeah. So now since it's all compact together... Yeah. So, like, five rooms. <laughs> they can't escape me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you have a bedroom yeah. that you share with Gavin. And then we have a ginormous kids' room down here. And then Emma shares a bedroom. She got a choice. And she chose, I can't believe she chose, to share with Christian. And, uh, and then right now, Charlie's been sleeping in there with her. But then um, we have the other five girls share the big, huge, it was like a big, huge add-on room um, in the front area. It used to be their front porch. And so we have all the other girls sharing that room. It has its own bathroom. And, but they do like going into each other's bedrooms. Yeah, it's more fun because there's out. a lot of more things here yeah. to do. Yeah, like? Well, we got a lot of board games and we can, uh, you know, knit. You may say, oh, you could just do that in Texas, you yeah, know, Omaha. Nebraska, yeah. Omaha, whatever. Uh, but one thing. What? We're just, we're just probably doing something else. Probably outside. Yeah. But nobody wants to go outside. Not right now they don't, do they? Yeah. So there, it's funny because um, they could do the same things at each house, but because the dynamics are so different they choose to do different things so they still like being on their electronics um, but they are outside a lot more um, when it's not so hot uh, like exploring and doing things and then the kids all hang out together a lot more and Elena had mentioned that um, they, they, they enjoy each other's company more here which is funny I don't know why it's so different but it is um, what else? Anything else that you, well, like pros or cons about here? Oh, the pros, it's, so, it's I like it cold. Except that, you know, I, in my bedroom, I have no vent. The, the vent, you know, just... You mean your room here? Uh, no, Nebraska. It, oh. The vent sucks. Oh, does it? It's horrible. So your room is really cold here? Yeah, and I love it. <laughs> and I can make it cold by just turning on the fan to, you know, supersonic and just going... <laughs> <laughs> supersonic, it does. The air blows out like crazy here and so and john's room is freezing so I you love like that it. you know i just have my blanket <laughs> over me just watching some you know youtube videos and mom you know what john time to take out the trash <laughs> yeah sucks oh my gosh um okay so what about omaha will you miss anything would you miss anything about omaha friends friends yeah which i really don't have any you do you just do. that they don't, they don't come over and Well, yeah, kids just don't hang out, I, I feel like, like they used to. So when I was a kid, that's all we did was hang out. Kids now, I feel like they're so busy with everything else, like activities and um, this and that Your and school. family things. and Your school might have been easy. School. The school there is uh, hours of like 10 hours of homework. Well, in our school, yeah. When we, I mean, we do school at home now, so you do school for about... Two and a half hours, and you're done. Or they're stuck at school for eight hours. So. Yeah, and I get to learn whatever I want. I yeah. could be anything from learning about an animal yeah. and to learning about how to make a game. Yeah, yeah, doing gaming stuff. Yeah. What about um, what about here, like the ocean or the animals or the garden or I any of that stuff? The thing I like here a lot, if we're outside, is just I get there's actually work for me because. Nebraska, everything's basically done. It's so it's such a small place that there's barely anything to do. Yeah, that's well, here already, got, yeah. I know, here we got 10 acres of work. Yeah, that's so true. That is, so there is tons of stuff to do out there. We gotta make a house, we gotta take all the, yeah. do the lawn to cut down some trees, yeah. cut down even more trees, uh, grow some animals, build, rebuild that little, you know, the yeah. 
all that stuff. Yeah. There's lots of help. stuff. And some of that is because when we, we've lived in the Nebraska house for almost three years. So, you know, Sean has been fixing it up and a lot of that stuff is already done. But here, because we just got the house, it needs all kinds of stuff done. All right, Gavin, you're next. So we are talking about the Texas house versus the Omaha house. And I want to know what your thoughts are. What do you think about the two houses? Do you like one more than the other? I like our Chapel Hill house, actually. Oh, you liked the house that we had before the house in Omaha? Yeah. That was your favorite house? Yeah. It was so fun to play in. You were so little then. Actually, that's Isabella's favorite house, too. She loves that house. Um, but, okay, between the two houses that we have right now, which one do you like better? Would you, if, we, if you had to pick one house, what would you pick? Omaha or Refurio? Refurio. You'd pick Refurio, Refurio house? Yeah. Okay. How and come? Omaha house, too, because they both have a new swimming things in them. I can swim in the lake, and I can swim in the... Ocean? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So... In um, Nebraska, we go to the lake. You guys go to the lake a lot. Um, and here in Texas, we go to the ocean a lot. Well, not anymore because that is. Uh, well, not right now because it's so hot out. And we have a brand new baby. Yeah. But, okay, anything. What is one of your favorite things about this Texas house? That there's no jellyfish popping up randomly. Jeez. <laughs> That's because they live in the ocean. Mm -hmm. And because um, I like um, swimming in the ocean. You do? Do you like having the animals? Mm-hmm. Yeah? We have cows outside. <laughs> there are cows outside. Okay, what about the Nebraska house? What's your one of your favorite things about the Nebraska house? That we can swim in the lake, too. <laughs> you just like swimming, huh? <laughs> yeah? Okay, any... Anything about those two houses, um, mm -hmm. if we picked one over the other that you'd miss, would you miss anything here or miss anything there? I missed lots of things there. Really? Like what? Like my toys. <laughs> Your toys? Yeah, there aren't a lot of toys here right now. And Wait, did you get my monster truck grave to grave away? No, it's in the garage. A huge. Yeah. We have some stuff here, but um, definitely not like we have in our Nebraska house. We have lots of toys in Nebraska. But a lot of it is also packed. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and that, and I say that because we started packing when we thought we were moving here for sure. Um, and then I just haven't unpacked yet because we were planning on bringing uh, a lot of that stuff here. So we are talking about... Nebraska house versus Texas house. And I already know what this little miss is going to say. <laughs> okay, so which house do you like better? The Nebraska. <laughs> she likes the Nebraska house better. How come? What is it about the Nebraska house that you like better? It's that it's bigger. So if there's a tornado, we can go underground. Yeah. And it's much bigger, and I like it more. You like it more? Yeah. But it is bigger than this house. Yeah. Do you feel like you spend more time with your brothers and sisters in this smaller house, though? No. You don't? <laughs> okay. Um, what is it about the Texas house that you don't like? It's that outside it's so hot and then there's way more things to clean for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot to do, and that's just because the house is new, and we have to clean it all up. Yeah. The yard needs a lot of work. We had to yeah. make the chicken and duck coop. Yeah. Yeah. It's been pretty hard. It's been hard? Yeah. <laughs> and it's harder to get the birds. Oh, we've been letting the birds out and roam, and so, yeah, that does yeah. get hard. They can fit through those squares. And it just haul it all in longer to get them. Yep. And yep, that's true. Usually she tries to go and do it all by herself, but really you should have help. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, sometimes Jade will help her. Um, yeah. But a lot of times you just go out there and just do it. Yeah. <laughs> she likes being independent, and she's really good 
at making sure that they get out in the mornings and put away at night. We don't even have to tell her, and she just does it. So you're really good about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about having animals here, though? Aren't you excited to have animals? Uh, I really don't know. You it's don't know? because we have cows and they'll be ruining the place. Yeah, the cows are um, using like our palm trees that we planted, replanted, to scratch their backs and they're kind of chewing on them. And um, so a couple of them we think are not going to make it. But yeah. But it's kind of cool to see them out there. Yeah, like over there, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a foam like to put them away and not just leaving them out. Roam out, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what that fo is for. Think so, to keep them contained? Yeah. The fencing yeah <laughs> now I will say that um, I'm not surprised <laughs> at Isabella's answer because she has a really hard time with change um, and not change in general just when we moved into our um, house that we live in Omaha now she said that she did not like that house <laughs> that she wanted to live in our house that we lived in before that um, which actually was, it's only like, I don't know. A block away? It's not, it's like, I don't know, 12 blocks away. But it's not very far at all. As a matter of fact, our neighborhood now is attached <coughs> to that neighborhood. Um, so there are two separate neighborhoods, but they're attached. And so she was so disappointed because she did not want to live in our house now. She wanted to live in our house before that. And so, um, and now that we have this Texas house, now she says she really wants to live in that Omaha house and not this one. And so she has a hard time with changes with our houses. So, and I think that's because you grow to love something and then you don't want to lose it. Yeah. And that's okay. I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I liked it more at the like old, old house. It's because it's like made out of brick and there's that, uh, there's like play sets. Yeah. And then our friends is in the neighborhood and we used to go there all the time. Yeah. And I miss going there. Do you? Yeah. You have a friend right across the street though at, at this house, the Omaha house. Yeah. Yeah. So you do have friends. Yeah. I think it's because um, that's the only house she really ever knew because when you came to our house it was that house and you were only two years old and yeah. so you you kind of just grew up in that house yeah and so i'm sure that that's probably why you like it so much yeah yeah we are talking about omaha house versus texas house okay and i am just curious before i ask you any certain questions what are your thoughts texas versus nebraska hmm. Well, um, can I think real quick? Yeah. Okay. I like the Texas house better. You, you like it better? Okay. How come? Because mm, nobody knows me. Nobody knows you here? Fresh start? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a, that's a good answer. Anything else? Like, no. is there any other reasons that you like this house better than the Nebraska house? No. Like because the yard's bigger, because we can do more here, because ocean, like any of that stuff? No. No. I'm not an outside person. That's true. She is not. She likes to stay inside. And and actually, I enjoy outdoors. I just feel like I, n I never go outdoors. Um, and I feel like it's just because there's so many demands inside. And uh, so I end up hardly ever going outside. Yeah. Um, but you enjoy being inside. Mm -hmm. And I do, I do too. Uh, Okay, so fresh start. That's the only reason. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. No. Is there anything about Omaha that you'd miss? The Omaha house? No. No? Not the neighborhood or the conveniences or? No. No? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Um, so if we had to pick one house, which one would you pick? Texas. Texas. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we've got Miss Charlie. Hi. So... You want to know what we're talking about today? Yeah. We're talking about the Omaha house and the Texas house. Are we going to sell the Omaha house? Well, we don't know. But I want to know, which house do you like better? 
Um, I like the Omaha house. You like the Omaha house better? Yeah. How come? What do you like about the Omaha house? Because I like it about all because we have a TV there. <laughs> okay, that's something I never even thought of. But that is so true. We have lots of TVs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it makes me just tear up because it's kind of funny. Um, we have lots of TVs in our Omaha house. Like every kid has one in their bedroom. We have like one in our family room, one in our living room. Sometimes uh, we take our living our uh, living room one and we took it outside. So we had a TV outside. We have one in the kitchen. I mean, we must have like 10 TVs. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, she says, uh, and I never even thought about that because we don't have any TVs here. If the kids want to watch something, they usually watch on their computers or on a tablet. Uh, but we, I mean, we're, and we're talking, we are talking about getting one TV for here. Um, maybe two, but, uh, maybe a one on the kids room here. Should we put one in the kids room? And my room and everyone's room. Oh, and everybody's bedrooms too. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. That's so funny. So anything else? What else do you like about the Omaha house better? I like, I like really like. The some toys. Toys? There are more toys in Omaha. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, and we have to ask you. We can play with the Barbie stuff. Yes, we have some of them in the closet. And you guys have to ask to get them out because otherwise we've had problems with kids not cleaning up their messes. I clean my mess and the, the Barbie stuff. Yeah. So I get You're good about it sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I always be quiet in the car rides. You're super good on the car rides. You're probably our best traveler that we have. Yeah. Yeah, you're awesome at traveling. Do you like traveling back and forth in the car or not? I do. You do like that? Yeah, but I don't like holding and going to throwing up on my blankies. Yeah, that's not fun, is it? No. No. But this last time they didn't. They were really good this last time. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can go back to Omaha. We are going to go back to Omaha, you're right. And we're not going to sell both our houses. You want to keep them both? Yeah. Yeah? Because I like this one and the Omaha. You like them both? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we could keep both houses, but I don't know. But we'll have to see. Okay, so a couple thoughts. Um, first, let's talk about a couple things the kids said. Charlie, oh my gosh, she is so cute. And you know, I never even thought about those things that she mentioned, like that it would make it, a, a house would be better if it has more toys and a house would be better if it has more TVs. And um, so it's very interesting to see her perspective. Um, so I liked that, that she was able to, to actually say what it was that she liked about it. Uh, then, after I turned the camera off, um, when Emma had been talking, uh, it was very interesting because Emma said, you know, a house is just a house. And I said, really? And she said, well, I've moved around so much that to me, a house is just a house. And so I don't really have a lot of thoughts on that. And I thought, you know what? That is so true. Like, um, I didn't move around a lot. And so I don't know how that feels. And to me, I had the house I grew up in um, until I was 11, and then a house that I moved into when I was 11 and grew up until I moved out when I was 18. And so those houses mean a lot to me. And um, my mom still lives in the house that I started growing up in when I was 11, you know, until I moved out. And so to me, a house isn't just a house. It means more than that. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, the kids will be able to learn that um, because... I'm hoping that a house means more than just that and that it will have some kind of um, heartfelt meaning to them as they get older and then move on and you know uh, they'll have the house that we have now and that house will mean a lot to them and I really hope that that happens. Um, okay, now some other thoughts. You know, it makes me um, kind of sad to think about our littler kids. Like, if we were to not have one house or the other, 
Um, I feel like right now we have the city house and the kids, you know, a lot of them have grown up in the city. Now, if we were to move to just this Texas house, like Charlie and Christian would know no different. They would only know being in the country. And uh, the other kids, though, would get the benefit of having both experiences. And I think that kind of helps you to be more well-rounded. And I like that. Um, but it would be very interesting to me um, because I grew up in the city. And so um, that's mainly what I know. And to have these younger kids that would just grow up in the country only. Uh, and that would be so unique to me because that's not what I know, but it would be what they know. And um, I just, life is so interesting sometimes, I think. Uh, the other thing was that I was so surprised at their answers because like 95% of the kids uh, said Texas. I'd, I would, I love the Texas house. I love being in Texas. And um, if I had to pick, I'd pick Texas. If we could keep both houses, like I said in our previous video, we most definitely would love to be able to keep both houses. So if we can do that, we will. But it is interesting to know that if the kids had to pick, they would pick Texas.